Welcome to Everything Arsenal and welcome to the predicted lineup for our next Premier League game away to Leeds United. Yep, finally another Premier League game. Um, we did very well, in not quite well, but we did get the win against Bodo Glimt in midweek. Now we are back to the Premier League, a chance to stay top of the table. The season so far, so far has been perfect for us. We have enjoyed, especially away from home. We have won almost every single home game. We have won every home game, but away from home as well, we've done pretty well. 3-0 win away at Brent for another 3-0 win away at Bournemouth. We beat Crystal Palace away from home, kept another clean sheet in that one. Went to Bordeaux, glimped in the Europa League, kept a clean sheet and won the game. We won against Zurich as well. Our only um, loss this season was away at Man United, but overall, I think we've done pretty well with those comfortable wins away to some tough teams like Palace and Brentford. But next up, it's Leeds United. Leeds United themselves, they started the season very well. They won a couple of home games um, in August, but since then, they've gone five games without a win and they've drawn the last two home games, I think, against Everton and Aston Villa. So we have a chance to um, ex extend, maybe extend our um, gap up, uh, at the top of the table if Liverpool um, takes some points away from Man City. We have a chance of extending um, the, the, the points gap at the top. But let's focus on ourselves. Leeds United is next. So which kind of lineup will Atta go for in this one first? Let's talk about the team news. Um, according to Charles Watts from um, yesterday, Jesus expected to be okay for Leeds. Zinchenko is still a doubt. And Arteta has just done um, his conference and he said um, Jesus is a doubt for tomorrow's um, game. So that is a bit of a, a downer. So there's a lot to talk about um, on Jesus. We'll talk about him later when he, when we, reach the, we talk about the strikers. But obviously the yellow cards, um, if, he gets a, if he plays and gets a yellow card, he's suspended for the next game. Would you just rest him? We'll talk about him later. So... Let's get started with um, the, the the back four and the goalkeeper. Let's start with that one first. So, in terms of the goalkeeper, we expect Ramsdale to come back 100%. Um, Turner did well the other day, probably helped us keep a clean sheet in that game. So, Aaron Ramsdale returns in the Premier League. Um, obviously, we need Martina to be at the top of his game. You never know when he's going to be needed in the Premier League. And obviously, in the um, cup competitions, very important for us because Europa League, we want to get far. FA Cup, Carabao Cup, we want to get fight all of them. So, Ramsdale is back for this one. On the left side, um, very, very interesting who's going to play there. So, I'll leave it for last. Let's go to right back. I think Ben White will definitely start once again. He started in midweek against Bordeaux, uh, but he came off um, like in the second half, 70th minute or something. So he starts again um, in this one. His former club, Leeds United is his former club. He actually was there when they were promoted back to the Premier League. So a uh, big game for him away uh, at their place. Last season, he actually gave away a penalty in this game, this um, specific game away at Leeds United, but uh, it didn't cost us because we ended up winning that 4-1. So he will be back for this one. Another player who started in midweek and will start again is um, William Saliba. Um, no problem with him starting as well. Um, he's fresh, ready to go. Um, th this was the first um, Europa League game that he started. Same with Ben White. They've been rested for the other couple. So I'm happy with Saliba playing there with Ben White. Um, it's not that they're going to be... They're not going to be tested as much as you'd expect them to be tested against Liverpool and Tottenham. So... I would actually kind of expect a clean sheet from this one, but let's see. Uh, next to them, Gabriel will be back, uh, rested for the first time in the other, um, in the Car in the Europa League game. I keep on saying Caraboca, but the first time rested in the Europa League game. Uh, that was the first game overall that he has been rested this season. It's fresh to go. A lot of, a lot of people have talked about him this season. Making mistakes, which is true, he's made a couple of mistakes this season. So um, hopefully the rest does help him. He's now rested for a week, so let's see how he does in this one. And then left back, left back, left back. Is it going to be Kieran Tini? Charles Watts has just told us that Zinchenko could be out once again. It's still a doubt. Um, even if he's fit, I don't think he starts. I think they'll give him like another uh, week's rest. So I think Tommy Asu starts once again. He didn't start in midweek. Um, I guess it worked so well against Liverpool that he's going to keep his position. It would be unfair to drop him. Although that was just for tactical reasons, I think he deserves to start once again so Tommy yes is there by the way I don't really mind um if Tini starts as well I think um Tini plays well as an these days as an inverted basically inverted left back playing in midfield so I really don't mind that so this is the lineup um in terms of defense uh Ramsdale Tommy has with left back Gabriel and Saliba at center back Ben White at right back so far so good no problem with that we know the other players will be on the bench talk about them later as well next up let's go to the midfield so 
Thomas Party will be back. We didn't want him to play any minutes the other day against Bordeaux, but he kind of had to come on because we were really under pressure. So he came on for the like, like last 10 minutes. Um, he's good to play in this one. Uh, not such an artificial pitch anymore. This is the Emirates Stadium. He plays in this one 100%. We need him to. Um, I was so glad he was fit for the Tottenham and Liverpool games. One of the reasons why he got to win those games because of just the, the midfield presence that he has. has. So Thomas Party plays. Um, right there. Next to another player who was rested but came on, Granit Xhaka. Um, he played for like 30 minutes in the Bodo Glimt game, but both of them didn't start, so they're fresh to go. And then next to them will be the captain, Martin Odegaard. Um, very quiet that they're alongside Fabio Vieira, um, but we just basically almost never got the possession. Uh, we were just under pressure tied the entirety of the second half. So the team is back, Xhaka, Pate, Odegaard. Xhaka last season did very well away at Leeds United. I remember that pass he gave to Martinelli quite quite good so the midfield looks something like this so far the team looks something like this Jaka party Odegaard in midfield with the back four and the goalkeeper um I think the only one that could change so far there is uh, probably the left back I think the, all the others start um let's go to the forward line who starts in the forward line I think um Martinelli is back for this one 100 um he got his first rest just like Gabriel the other day against uh, Bodo Glimt, he also had to come on. He came on for Saka quite early, like in the 58th minute, but it's fresh to go. He's been exceptional so far this season, like almost every single game. Uh, from the game against uh, Crystal Palace, he scored. Leicester City was great. Aston Villa, he scored as well. Um, he scored against, um, obviously, Liverpool the other day. He's been doing quite good this season, so let's hope his form continues. And he stays injury-free, and uh, maybe for his sake, he gets picked for the World Cup. Let's see. And then at right wing, Saka um, scored our winning goal against Bordeaux Glint, but for the rest of the game, we basically didn't get the ball. So um, he got subbed off in the 58th minute, so he's fresh to go for this one as well. Um, again, he's been magnificent, especially recently. He's um, really start, started returning goals and assists almost every single game. Tottenham, Liverpool, uh, Bordeaux Glint um, in the home game, Bordeaux Glint away. He's been doing quite, quite well, so I'm happy that Bordeaux Glint at home, not Bordeaux Glint at home. Um, he, didn't, he didn't even play that game. He only came on, but Bordeaux Glint away from home and also the Premier League games recently is done well. Even Man United, the game that we lost, is scored in that one. So he plays in this one. And then up front, um, I think it's going to be... Let's talk about Jesus first. So I just say it's, he's a doubt. And uh, obviously Charles Watt says he could play. I, I think he could be back. It's very hard to um, predict it. Um, I think he could be back, but if he's, he's literally the most fouled player in the Premier League this season, that is actually a fact. He's the most fouled player, I think close to 30 times. So the injuries will occur. He also got hit in the head uh, against Liverpool. And he's also under threat to the yellow card. So if you are going to rest Jesus for a game, I wouldn't mind it being this one. So... <sighs> It's, it's hard to predict, but I think Ata usually plays mind games, so I think he will he will start. So I'm going to go for Jesus to start. But um, I'd, not, I'd, I'd, not, I'd not have a problem if um, Ketty starts and Jesus is on the bench and comes on. That is a possibility. So, so far, this is what we have. A back four of um, Tommy Asu, Gabriel, Salib, and White. A midfield of Pate, Jacques, and Odegaard, and then a front line of Martinelli, Saka, and Jesus. The only two that could be doubts, uh, maybe Tierney could start instead of Tommy Asu, and maybe Nketi could start instead of Jesus. And for the Jesus one, I'd actually put it um, at 60%. Um, Jesus starts and 40% Nketi starts. So quite high that Nketi, it's a high, high chance that Nketi could end up starting. No problem with that. Totally no problem with that. Um, he did well against Leeds last season as well. So in terms of the bench, this is what we have. Um, we'll have uh, Matt Turner, Tierney. Um, Cedric holding to help defensively. Ten, you'd imagine he he, he comes on um, for Tommy Asu Ben White in the second half. Cedric um, hasn't gotten any game time so far this season. Maybe he will against PSV in midweek. Um, holding um, in case we need a back five, which I'm hoping we don't need in this one. Lokong as well as part is backup. Marquinhos as Saka's backup. Fabio Vieira um, as Odegaard's backup, and then Ketia might end up starting instead of Jesus. I think either way, Jesus will be in the squad. So so if we to start, Jesus is the one who's going to be on the bench and then probably come on if um, we are not winning the game. And then Rhys Nelson, disappointing in midweek, but he is on the bench in case um, Martinelli needs a sub and um, yeah, stuff like that. So 
in terms of my prediction, I am going to go for Arsenal to beat Leeds by three goals to one. I think Leeds will get a goal, but I'm going to go for Arsenal to win by three goals to one. Once again, Slack and Martinelli both to score. And then I'm going to go for Guarit Jaka. He's really been impressive this season, so I'm going to go for those guys to score. Let me know your prediction. Um, let me know, would you be happy with Jesus um, not starting, Ketia starting, or would you risk Jesus? We don't really have to, because next up we have some more tough games coming up, like away to PSV at home to PSV away to Southampton so I wouldn't have a problem if um Jesus was rested for this one as of now let's hope we get the win done let's um let's hope we stay at top of the table for at least another week thank you for watching and I'll catch up with you on the next one